Today, I bring you the best FM24 Tiki Taka tactic so far. A tactic that took us all the way to second place with Bournemouth in the first season with zero sign-ins, with Dominic Solanke scoring 27 goals and Hamed Traore contributing with 22 assists, while scoring 80 goals in the league and only conceding 26, which is quite remarkable considering how low down we're meant to be predicted quite the impressive season. All done with some really good data hub stats as well at 2.11 goals per game, only 0.68 being conceded, just over 15 shots a game, a fantastic pass completion of 88.66 and an even better tackle win ratio of 77.65. So big games coming out of us with this Bournemouth team as well. This is just one of many, a 3-0 win away from home against Liverpool. As you can see, the pass and play linking up really, really well, even causing a lot of mishap for a team like Liverpool at the back, who usually are quite good. We pass through everyone, pass through through the lines it's dominance over to Celtic a bit more of an easier challenge as it is going to be obviously quite a dominant team as we come out and we absolutely smash this league with but an invincible for starters I mean absolutely remarkable scenes 108 points David Turnbull with 30 goals it's going to be Odin Thiago Holm with 21 assists Joe Hart gets his pass completion of 96% 132 goals scored in the league and only 28 conceded and also we're going to take the via play cup and team stat wise we're going to have 67% of the ball it's going to be something quite impressive the most points per game at 2.84, the most goals at 132, the most shots at 737, the fewest shots against at 204. Obviously, we discussed the possession, really, really remarkable stuff. The most dribbles being made at 634, the fewest conceded, and of course, the most clean sheets. It's a season to remember. We've got many games of magic to go over, but firstly, the date hub at 3.47 goals per game, absolutely remarkable. Only 0.74 goals being conceded, so way under a goal a game, which is remarkable to see. Over 19 shots every single match, an 89% pass completion, and a tackle win ratio at 76.28. And it was really no stress in this Fire Play Cup final. A very comfortable 3 0 win, obviously, just proving how dominant we are with this Celtic team. A couple of scrappy goals, to be honest, a set piece because it completes the second goal. And the next one is going to be a bit more of a direct approach down the right hand side with Ralston. Plays it back in the middle into Riley, into McGregor, into Holm. Short, sweet passing. The Tiki Taka way gets the job done. And lastly, probably the Tiki Taka Masters, when you think of the word Tiki Taka, you think of old school Barcelona where we do the treble the Spanish Cup the Spanish First Division and the Spanish Super Cup again in an invincible season absolutely remarkable stuff winning 32 and drawing the other six Robert Lewandowski doing Robert Lewandowski things scoring 63 goals in the league averaging a 7.87 highest average rating Sergio Roberto with 22 assists and to Stegen picking up 96% pass completion all done while scoring 119 goals and only conceded in 17. Really was goals galore with this tactic with Barcelona, guys. An 8 0 win here over Vallecano. And you're going to see a nice variety of goals being put in now. You're going to get a real good indicator of what your team is going to be doing, how the goals come, how the goals sort of look when they're going to be scored. And a lot of it is done by getting the ball in the wide area, dragging it back into the inside, and just doing a lot of cutbacks. This genuinely is by far one of the best tiki taka tactics I personally have made. The short, sweet passing, always not going to get loads and loads of possession. I say that around 65% is your average to go with with this tactic but honestly just the way the, the tactic plays the passing how good it is with the small teams with the big teams it really did tick all of the boxes and that is why I had to bring it to you just pass after pass Jao Felix over the top into Balde back in the middle in to Furman a fantastic finish and the goals did not stop there with Kunde from the back into Gundogan into the midfield into Pedri back inside into Jao Felix into the bottom left hand corner and there was no chance of them stopping us as we just keep going wave after wave and let me know in the comments right now is Tiki Taka the best way of football I need to know are you a Tiki Taka or a Gagan Press let me know as we just got to see goal after goal I mean I've lost count now at how many goals we're in as it is just a wonderful goal after wonderful goal Fernand Torres had a fantastic season by the way and as you can see we didn't hold back on possession either. And as you can see here, 3.13 goals per game were the exact number of goals we were averaging with this Barcelona team and conceding only 0.45. What a season. Of course, now over to your favourite part of the video in a lot less time. Hopefully you are enjoying a new format. Be sure to leave a like if you are. And I want to thank all of the wonderful names coming down the screen right now. These are going to be new or existing Patreon members. Patreon is the best way to support this channel. There's over 2,000 of you guys right now, and it means the absolute world. You get access to all three of these tactics. Now you're going to get access to exclusive mobile and console versions of the tactic you see today. You get early video release, early tactic release, one-on-one -on -one tactical help, and access to the current giveaway. Loads of perks, roughly around 10. So go and check it out. The link 
link is going to be in the description. But let's go over and talk about the player roles then. So the system is going to be a little bit uniquely shaped and it is with very good understanding. So the first player role is going to be the superkeeper who is simply going to be on the default instruction. Nice and simple. Obviously, being quite a narrow system, wingbacks play quite a vital role in this tactic. Therefore, they are both going to be on attack on sit narrower and also tackle harder on the right hand side, but also on the left hand side. Two ball playing defenders now coming into the team again a ticky tacker tactic you are going to have ball playing defenders both on defend simply both on tackle harder the reason why we're not going to have dribble more on them today is because obviously the wing backs are very very aggressive moving up the field is going to be a dm on support on pass it shorter shoot less often and also tackle harder the real glue in the midfield to protect that back line and make sure we're not conceding too many goals next to him we are going to go with the volante on support with four additional instructions pass it shorter shoot less often move into channels and also tackle harder for some reason you've not got a volante in your team no one's comfortable playing that role a roman playmaker would also work very very well now the thought process behind this sort of front three if you want to say is on this side we're a little bit more reserved we've got a supportive option because obviously the volante is more pushed up on that side of the field so we're a little bit more cautious and in terms of the attack on that side so we're going to go with the attack and midfield player on support on pass it shorter roam from position and also tackle harder whereas on the left hand side it's going to be the same but on attack on pass it shorter roam from position and also tackle harder because obviously on the left hand side of the pitch the dm is also going to be naturally a little bit deeper so we could be a little bit more risky on that left hand side in terms of the front three and on the right hand side more risky in the deeper areas but not obviously as you go up the field and in the middle it's going to be a shadow striker quite a reserve role on attack on simply tackle harder now going up to the star man the goal scorer that is going to be Lewandowski. that is going to be an advanced sword who simply comes in on attack on tackle harder so it's quite a simple but very effective tiki taka tactic so time for some team instructions again obviously based around a tiki taka tactic style on the attacking the attacking mentality and we are going to talk about a few things so we are instantly going to set it to fairly narrow with the attack and width that is how we're able to compress this team and play the ball about really really well with lots and lots of prowess going through to the team instructions focus down the left and the right of course is going to be selected we're going to have the directness set to much shorter again trying to hold on to the ball not two so we're overkilling it and only having possession useless possession obviously we want to score goals as well which we did do and therefore we are going to go with that higher tempo the final third we're going to go with low crosses because we are trying to create lovely chances not hoof ball into the box and lastly be more expressive in transition it's going to be very simple but very effective we're going to roll the ball out we're going to counter press two options here what i personally had is counter attack because you score more goals but if you want to try and out possession me get more than what you saw in the video you can simply untick this I'd personally recommend it if you're obsessed with possession. And lastly, out of possession, of course, we are going to instantly deploy that high press line of engagement. For now, it is going to be the meta, so we are going to roll with that much higher defensive line to really push the team up. The trigger press is going to be set to much more often. And nice and simple, one last thing, prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Let's get into the attacking variant. So highlights to stall the video today right into the attack and variant again patrons can get all three of these in one simple download if not do stay tuned and copy it click for click so we are going to go through the goalkeeper remains exactly the same the wing backs do not remain the same they actually get a load of instructions because we are trying to really maximize what the wing backs can provide in this team so that is going to be two wing backs both on attack on take more risks cross more often dribble more run wide sit narrower and also tackle harder really maximizing what these wing backs are going to be doing both of the ball playing defenders remain exactly the same we scrap the midfield from the sort of first variant we go with two volantes who are both going to be on support simply on tackle harder and move into channels both of the attacker midfield players are also going to be exactly the same now we're just going to go all out attack on this one both on attack on roam from position and also tackle harder and in the middle we're going to have a shadow striker also on attack on tackle harder so it's quite good because these players are going to roam about and sometimes act like wingers and we're always going to have this central option to feed the unchanged advance forward team instruction wise again a tiki taka style on the attacking midfield mentality set to fairly narrow to be honest the only real change is going to be on this page the overlap left and overlap right everything else is going to remain the same in transition again one simple but much needed change is going to be the addition of distributing the ball quickly lastly our possession there isn't too much we can change because we already are very very attacking but i have decided to opt to have get stuck in in now again this comes down to you how disciplined your players are etc etc but for me it just adds a little bit of needed intensity to the game over to a controlling tactic one which is going to focus on more having possession maybe not scoring as many goals but will dominate the ball and easily touch 70 percent with some of the elite teams so 
much needed for you guys that love possession. This is why you stick around to this part of the video because you get the complete package over here on the Josh Daly channel. So the goalkeeper does remain exactly the same. The wing back on the right is going to be on support on sit narrower and also tackle harder. The same as the right and also the left hand side of the field. Both of the ball playing defenders remain unchanged in all three of the variants because they don't really need to change. Simply on defend on tackle harder. Two DMs are going to come in and they are both going to be on exactly the same, quite reserved, pass it shorter, shoot less often and tackle harder. You're going to get a theme of pass it shorter very, very shortly as we actually go up a little bit into the sort of triangle in the midfield the advanced playmaker on support on dribble more and also tackle harder this three here or this five here are impossible to get the goal to get the ball from the way they play the ball is honestly majestic going up the field is going to be an attacker midfield player on support on pass it shorter on tackle harder on the right and also the left hand side and to polish it off the cherry on top the unchanged advanced forward. Instruction wise, again, all based off the tiki taka style on the positive, the positive mentality. This time, the attack and width is going to be set to fairly wide. Focus play down the left and the right. And this is where it changes. So we are going to still have the much shorter. We're going to lower the tempo a little bit to be a little bit more sort of controlling on the game, not as aggressive. We're going to dribble less with the ball, meaning we're going to pass. We're going to favor passing options, which will result in better possession. And we're going to be more disciplined because this way we're not going to be too expressive, running at them, letting the players you know, go on one on one crazy runs be more disciplined and control that ball transition nice and simple counter press as discussed in the first variant we are not going to have counter on meaning we are going to just pass the ball side to side keep possession slowly build up a chance hopefully we're going to slow the pace down while rolling the ball out Ball possession quite a big change we now have the standard line just a much more calm way of laying out the team with the high pressing line of engagement more often instead of maxed out we're still going to apply some pressure on the goalkeeper and we're going to stay on feet when it comes to the tackling and that's going to give you guys three variants of the best tiki taka tactic and attacking variant, a controlling variant, and the default variant. Let me know what you think of the fast-paced videos. Hopefully you've enjoyed them. Be sure to leave a like if you have enjoyed. Subscribe, it's completely free, and turn on notifications. We're trying to hit 20k. Let's get it done. I'll see you boys in the next one.